いらっしゃい。ありがとう。Hey Ichiban, what a coincidence! Oh no, I was looking for you. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Oh, apologize for what? I wasn't thinking about how you felt at all, and I ended up saying a whole bunch of terrible things. So yeah, I want to apologize. Was what you said that terrible? I talked to Adachi-san and Namba about it afterwards, and things became pretty clear. First off, I made a bunch of weird assumptions saying stuff like, for a woman, and junk. And even though I know you take the club really seriously, I spouted off about how you could quit your job, you know, if we got married. Oh, and also, I said I'd help out with the chores as if you'd automatically be the one doing all that. There's more. I, I was talking about having a kid, like that was a given too. And then, on top of that, I said we should visit the boss's grave and put him at ease. Th that wasn't a lie, but I didn't mean to make it sound like I only want to get married for Arakawa-san's sake. Uh... I know I panicked, but it wasn't cool that I disregarded your feelings like that. Really. I'm so sorry, Sachan. That's it. You came all this way just to say that? <laughs> You're silly. I wasn't worried about that one bit. Huh? But I. I mean, sure. Maybe those weren't the most tactful things to say, but no biggie. Work at a cabaret club long as I have, and you hear a whole lot worse. Well, then, why did you...? Well, it's just that we first met in kind of a weird way, you know? We're like partners in crime, you and me. Just think about how much we've been through. I guess at some point it started to feel like having you around's a given. <sighs> and, well, I think a little romance might get in the way of everything. In that sense, I think it'd be better if we went back to being friends. Don't worry, though. I'm with you to the very end. Sachan. That's all there is to it. So don't beat yourself up, okay? Like I said before, let's just keep at it. See ya. <sighs> Time to make some moves! Hey, good morning. Oh, Kasuga-kun. Morning. Let's give it all we got today, yeah? <laughs> sure. Uh, listen, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Oh, is this about organizing the warehouse? Don't worry, I'm on it. Uh, no, you, you see, uh, there's something you should know. Why don't we grab a meeting room? Huh? O okay, sure. Uh huh? 
My contract's been terminated? I know. Crazy timing. Remember how it was supposed to renew end of next month? Well, I thought about trying to get you a raise, but just yesterday, City Hall went and denied the renewal. Uh, um, w was there a problem with my quality of work? No, 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 no. Kasuga-kun, you've done an outstanding job. But apparently the city's budget is getting pretty tight. It seems they've no choice but to start cutting back on contractors. Right. I see. Understood. Well, uh, let me just say, uh, thank you for putting up with me. I'm guessing I'm done after this month. Well, for what it's worth, I'll be sure to finish strong. Uh, no. Uh, we'd actually like it if, uh, if today could be your last day. You want me to use my PTO? I mean, it's true I never took any, but I don't think I have that much stored up, do I? Oh! Well, you won't have to worry about that. Uh, they made an exception, and will mark the rest as PTO as well. <laughs> they hardly ever do something like this. Oh, jeez, I, I don't deserve that. You don't have to give me any special treatment. I, I can just work until- I'm really sorry. This is just what the higher-ups have decided. Just know I'm grateful to you, all right? Okay. Well, with that, thank you for everything you've done for me. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, thank you. Excuse me. So, thank you. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. Come on, get a grip. Everything's right back to how it used to be. Okay. Him, right? Yeah, that's him. 
No doubt about it. Well, it's about damn time. Welcome home, kasuga san huh? Who the hell are you? We just want to do a little interview, that's all. You're basically the talk of the town. And why is that? You take bribes from former Yakuza, then ship him off to do shady jobs all over town. So, what say you fill us in? What is this shit? Come on, the secret's out. Hello Works, a hookup for the Yakuza. The guys who broke up the Omi and Tojo have been off living the good life, right? And <laughs> you're no exception. What? Who told you that? You can't just believe everything you hear, you know? All right, simmer down. Now, be real. Just how much are you making? Nobody wants a bunch of former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience at all? Back off! <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? Oh, he's out of control. The real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose! Well, they may call him the hero of Yokohama, but deep down he's just another Yakuza. The Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less. Oh, honor and duty, my freshly bruised ass! Okay, cut. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't smart of you to get rough on camera like that, Kasuga-san. Oh, you're in big trouble if this ever goes online. Toss a million my way, however, and it's yours. Have it ready by tomorrow. You think I'm gonna give in to this crap? You think anybody's gonna buy your stupid act? Oh, <laughs> a little editing goes a long way. Wait and see. Couple of clicks here and there, and everyone will think you threw a regular haymaker. Yeah, well, best of luck, pal. You sure? I mean, you're already going viral as it is. Ask yourself, do you really want to throw oil on that fire? Viral? Do I look like I'm sick to you? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on. Have you not seen how people are talking about you online? Can't say I have. Not a big web guy. <sighs> Seriously? Ugh, what a pain. Hey, show him the video. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya. Let's get to it. Ladies and gents, our perp of the day. <laughs> this man here is Ichiban Kasuga, a former gangster who was heavily involved in the dissolution of two major Yakuza factions four years ago. On top of that, some people even call him the hero of Yokohama. This exclusive footage was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kasuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile, the man sitting across from him is yet another former Yakuza. The hell is this? Sasaki? This was like a misunderstanding. Ichiban Kasuga seems to be whispering orders to his ex-Yakuza cohort. Then, having received his instructions from Kasuga, the ex-Yakuza leaves Hello Work. Only to make a beeline for... A mini-mart, a drugstore, and a fancy boutique! We catch him stealing things right off the shelves, even going so far as to use a fake hand! Hey, hold up! That ain't right! Finally, it looks like Kasuga then buys the items from his personal thief at a deep discount. According to our extensive research, in just this day, a whopping 2 million yen's worth of product was stolen. Kasuga bought the lot for an unheard of 20 grand. In other words, he's having down and out ex Yakuza steal for him, then making a tidy profit reselling the stolen goods. This is the secret, no, the true face of the hero of Yokohama. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> Which one of you made this? <laughs> like she said, it's the Tatara channel. She's pretty much a god, and with five million subscribers at that. I mean, if anything, you should be proud you made it on her show, Kasuga-san. My ass, I'm proud. This whole thing's bogus. Bogus? <laughs> Dude, they got the whole thing on video. <laughs> oh, I see now. It all makes sense. That's gotta be why I got let go today. It's just got to! Anyway, look, we got you on video, so you gonna buy it off us or not? Like hell I am! I haven't done a damn thing wrong, you bastards! 
Ugh, what a shame. Guess we got no choice. How about we have this guy take a little nap, then move on to the next target? <laughs> next target? Who's that? All right, you're up, Mr. Bodyguard. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Yep. Just enough to gonk him out. Oh, uh, <laughs> try not to put this one in the hospital, okay? <laughs> Who's this dude? I met him online. I have him lend a hand whenever we're doing a risky shoot. Wait, you don't know? Top Street Fighter online sensation Asakura Channel. Ring any bells? <laughs> Man, he's trending like crazy right now. Oh, hey, Asachi, here's an idea. Why don't I record you knocking him flat like a pancake, eh? <laughs> I'll feature you on my channel as a guest, huh? What do you say? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. Hell yeah! Oh, we are jumping straight to the front page with this one! <laughs> All right, let's get footage, then go hit up that Sasaki creep. Wait, Sasaki? Why are you bringing him into this? Why do you care? He's just a chump from the Hiwatashi clan. And I'm afraid he's next on the chopping block. <laughs> We're gonna give him a little interview as well. How's it feel to have quit the Yakuza and have it blasted all over the internet? You asshole. Couple that footage with this fight, and we're talking at least oh, five million views easy. Knock it off! <laughs> he's giving everything he's got to rebuild his life right now. You're not gonna get in the way of that. Cool. Open Think I'm getting strong? <laughs> Gotta say, you're pretty tough. <sighs> Thanks. You can relax. You proved you're the real deal. Let's go again soon, the next time. We do this legit. Now smile for the cameras. That guy means business. As always, Tatara Channel is on the case. Ready to research, reveal, and rebuke the crimes running rampant around the world.
It's a Tara channel. <laughs> Adachi-san! Hey! I was just about to call you. You'll never guess! I'm sorry, Katsuka. He pains me to say, but I have to close up shop. Huh? Yeah. Namba's coming over to my place. Apparently, he suddenly got fired, too. What the hell? Seriously, what's going on? They gave me the same speech as you, Katsuka. I got into work, then immediately got called in by my boss who said I didn't have to come in anymore. And I got a call from the bank. They told me I couldn't take out another loan and there was nothing I could do to change that. When I asked why, they said their assessment standards are a company secret. And I'm barely hanging in there as it is. If my financing gets cut off, I'll have no choice but to throw in the towel. Damn. All three of us either lost our jobs or got abandoned by the bank. Yeah, not to mention those jerks who started picking on Kostika. It can't be a coincidence. Right. Now, as to what caused all this... Just who the heck is she? A content creator. Supposedly, she specializes in call-out videos. Call-out videos? Well, thanks to smartphones, these days anyone has a chance to be a whistleblower. Next thing you know, the video's racking up views on a channel just like this. One day, they might show a video from a woman trying to get back at an abusive celebrity. The next, you might see a tip toward political corruption, usually from some kind of secretary. Okay, so it's kind of like a tabloid? That's a simple way to put it, yeah. Thing is, Anonymity is super prevalent on the internet, so not many stories are true. It typically falls to the channel's user to sort through the track. The more well-researched and credible the stories are, the more popular the channel. Our so-called Tatara channel is apparently at the top of the heap when it comes to credibility. Guess she even helped solve a real-life crime, and all because of a video. As you can imagine, the politicians and police follow her pretty closely. And the video of me, what about that? That was a total load! Well, that I'm not so sure about. Maybe there's a tip so incredibly well-crafted, even Tatara couldn't see through it. I wonder who gave her the tip in the first place. Uh, she never reveals the identity of her sources. That's why she always gets the big scoops. So, when exactly did the video get put online? Three days ago. Since then, it's hit three million views. And now that it's on the Tatara channel, you can bet the world believes every bit of it. Do we have any way to get in touch with her? Sure. You can always try and DM her. I already did, though. No response so far. But even if she did take the video down, what's done is done. Once something gets uploaded, copies of it start spreading like wildfire. And what makes this whole mess even sadder is, those who eat this stuff up don't even really care about the truth. They don't? Then what the hell's the point? Really, most people just want a target punching bag for their own problems. You can't go around trashing innocent people, but if it's someone who's proven to be evil, well, that's a different story. So it's bullying, rebranded for the modern era. Well, on the other hand, this stuff has actually served as a bit of a crime deterrent. We uploaded Rio Aoki's confession four years ago, remember? The cultural climate's been changing ever since. Uh, now it's our turn on the chopping block, is that it? Oh, I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Namba. Huh? If I hadn't been so naive, none of this would have happened. Hey... You two turned your lives around and I went and ruined everything! I'm so sorry! Yeah, truth be told, I had a feeling you'd take it that way. Why would this ever be your fault, you dumbass? The problem's obviously whoever spread the lies. And what's more, don't underestimate us. We've ridden out rougher storms than this one. I'll say. Compared to sleeping outside in the snow back when I was a bum, this is a regular slice of heaven. Come what may, I'll crawl my way out of hell as many times as it takes. Pretty sure you'd do the same. Guys! Thank you! But just know... I won't be able to help you get ex-Yakuza back on their feet anymore. Yeah, 
Not like you could, seeing as you lost both your source of jobs and the means to hand them out. I feel like a joke. Especially after all that talk about carrying out the boss's legacy. Well, look, right now, just do your best. Besides, it's fair to say more Yakuza are gonna come looking for help. You'll have to explain all that's happened. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>